and emergency measures to control a surge in Miami Beach declared a state of emergency over the weekend after a deadly start to spring break. Beach now under a state of emergency, imposing a curfew last night. Two fatal shootings and some out of control crowds. Spring break in Miami. Historically, it's a wild time. Not this wild or dangerous. After gunfire erupted Friday night, outside, restaurants packed with one man died in the hospital and another was injured. It is clear that even an unprecedented police presence could not prevent these incidents from occurring. The chaos continues after two fatal shootings this weekend, both on Ocean Drive. One man was shot and killed in front of Majestic Hotel Friday night. This surveillance video shows the moments before the second fatal shooting early Sunday morning. The suspect, identified by police as 24-year-old Dontavious Leonard Polk of Fort Lauderdale, is seen hiding his gun under his shirt before pulling it out and shooting the victim multiple times. Hundreds of people rushing at you like a tsunami of people, plates, glass, flying, people running over each other. Thank God nobody was trampled. It's a curfew for the city of Miami Beach will begin after two deadly shootings this weekend. We believe city officials should be doing more. The city did not give us any French barricades. We had no cars. You are commanded to immediately and peacefully disperse. Someone's getting arrested, or at least two people are searching this car right now. We're also seeing the city declare a state of emergency after spring breakers completely took over the streets. There are now two separate crime scenes on South Beach after a deadly shooting Friday night and another early Sunday morning. Both shootings sent crowds running for cover as gunshots were fired in public. Is this about making Miami Beach uh, just no appetite for? Dontavious Polk is under arrest, accused of shooting. You were arrested for one count of first degree murder, and I will appoint the public defender's office. 